Problem 7. Three-point charge, uh, three charges are arranged as shown in figure PT3.1. Wow, okay, got it. Okay, they could just say the figure below. It would be easier. Find the, electric, find the electric field that Q and that charges together create at the origin. Okay. Hmm. I think they've moved on from capacitors, and this is a review question. So the way we're going to do this guy is the same way we pretty much done them all before. Uh, let's see here. E equals K Q over R squared. Oh, there we go. So now we're going to find it for Q and that other one, the negative three guy. So this guy is positive. Is he positive? He's positive. So he's going to create an electric field going this way. And this guy is negative, so he's going to create an electric field going this way. I'm going to do them independently since they're both on the xy axis, and it'll probably be easier. Okay. So I'm just going to, since we know that um, k is 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. And we know that Q is 3.5 times 10 to the negative ninth. And then we've got R squared. So I'm just going to Wolfram this guy. 8.99 times, I think I'll pretend like I did times 10 to the ninth, and then just not do it. 3.5. Because the, the nano part cancels out the 10 to the ninth, so it all just evens out in the end. And then the 0.3 meters, 0 0.3, and we have to square that guy. And we get 350. I'm going to say 350. 350. And I'll call this in the negative i direction. OK? Now the same thing for this guy down here. We're going to do kq over r squared. This time we have 3 instead of 3.5. And our distance is point, point 0.1. So it should have much more impact because it's closer. 2697. I think I'll call that 2700. 2700. There we go. So then the electric field would then be. In vector form, negative 350 because it's in a negative i direction. And then for j, we would say negative 2700 or 2700 in the negative j direction since it's going down. All right? Find the vector force on the 5 nano. Okay, so force, force equals E times Q. Remember anyway, these are vectors. That guy's a vector. They're all vectors except for Q. That's a that's a scalar. Alright. So I'm gonna do 350. Actually I'm gonna start with the 2700 one because I had Heber in up there. I'm gonna multiply that by 5 times 10 the negative ninth? Yep, nano. 5 times 10 to the negative ninth. Let me try the units right there. Mm. Mm. Right, I think that's correct. So, uh, I don't want to count all those zeros. Multiply by times, times 10 to the sixth. Now give us, because we're looking for micro, yeah, 13. 13.5. 13.5? Hmm. Eh, close enough. You get the idea. Hmm. I need to make sure the direction is the right way, too. Yes. All right. So, and I can look at these completely independently. So, this is positive, this is negative. So, aha, nope. Because they're asking us for the force, find the vector force on the 5. So on the 5, the 5 nanocoulomb guy is being pulled downward. So it's going to be negative. Mathematically, that even makes sense, too, because 
if Q is positive and E is negative, then the force is going to be negative. All right, so now we got to do the 350. So, hmm, hmm, no. I'm going to do 350, negative 350, times 5, 5. 5 times 10 to the negative 9th, times 10 to the 6th. That's just to convert it to um, micros. That way I don't have to count zeros. Negative 1.75. Negative 1.75. All right, so let's look at this logically really quick. So these guys should be the same proportions. So negative 1.75 is like almost like a tenth, kind of, sort of, of 13. And 350 is kind of sort of like a tenth of 2700. That is really fuzzy math, but at least makes me more confident. And I'm going to say that that's the right way to do this guy. Not too hard, good old review problem. I assume the next guys will probably be reviewed as well. So let's go on to problem eight. Bam.